Hey, Hello. Hey, hey. It's nice to see that you've dropped by during the big brain hours. Today we are going to think a little on little things. We're not gonna think on big things today. Big things are for the future, little things are for now. Today we're gonna ask, what is theology? This is for the purpose of the broader topic of why we should study theology, which we are going to do videos on in the future. Does that interest you? Does that tickle you, Jimmies? Does that ruffle your feathers? I hope so, because it's ruffled mine. Stop it. So. Ready, ready to begin? Why are we discussing this question? Who's the target audience? Philosophy and religion and theology. As for the target audience of this video, the primary target is people who don't think theology is important. Specifically, the religious. Religious people who don't think theology is important. Some people might be surprised as to why I'm targeting religious people. Because surely, you know, theology, you know, that's all about studying God or what have you. Surely religious people love that stuff, right? Right? Not necessarily. There's a fair amount of people who actually think theology is like this big old ivory tar discipline where, ah, it's not, it's not for me. I'm just one of the simple folk. That stuff over there, that stuff over in the universities, don't need it. Professors, what are they? Spitting words, word salads? <clears throat> Manipulating the scriptures to fit their own unique liberal ideas? Ugh, get out of here. Okay. That was epic. So, if that sounded like you, if that wee hyperbolic caricature sounded like you, welcome. Please, come. Please come join me on this little talk. <laughs> what is theology? Is it an academic study? I'm a very stable genius. Is it just a big old intellectual discipline? Is it for those ivory tower folk that I referenced earlier? Is it a Greek word made up of two other Greek words? Yes, 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 yes. yes. Theos is a Greek word, it means God. Logos, however, is a word that could mean a whole bunch of different things, and it does mean a whole bunch of different things. It means word, reason, study, discourse. No cry. I'm not going to go into a big study of what logos means. There's plenty of other studies out there that go into that. I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to give you that little, small, very minute definition. Great job. Theos logos. God word. God study. If you want to be basic, yeah, that's it. But let's look at the definitions provided by the big boys, the theologians. Professor Paul Badham provides this lovely and easy little definition that you could decorate your kitchen walls with. Thinking about God. That is how he defines theology. So charming, so simple, so easy. Very nice. The Big Badham then goes on to referencing some dead theologians, you know, the real nice big boys. Saint Anselm, the Big Bad Lad himself. <laughs> Mr. Saint Anselm. He defines theology as faith seeking understanding. Functionally, this is what theology is for many Christians, and Grenz and Olson, the guys who wrote this book, would agree. Badham then goes on to referencing Peter Eablard, who thinks of theology as I must understand before I believe. This position is quite different from Anselm, primarily because it's like a role reversal. However, what holds these positions in common is primarily their seeking of understanding and respect to God. So, let's apply that big brain of yours. What do all of these views have in common? They all have in common understanding and respect to God. Now, what definition of theology are we going to use? When we say theology, what do we what mean? Do mean? For this definition, I have referenced these two authors, Grenz and Olson, which are two authors, and Kelly M. Capic, which is another author. I'm just gonna say Grenz and Olson are one author, even though they're two people. Based on Grenz and Olson, I would say that. Based on Grenz and Olson, I would say. Based on Grenz and Olson, I would say. Hello. I know I look different. I know I have never been seen by you before, but I'm telling you, I'm the same person. I am Theocracy from the future, coming back in time to whoop. 
Whoop! Theocracy from the past! Little butt! He was gonna do what he was gonna do. He was gonna give you a long-winded definition. What I'm gonna do is give you a nice, simple definition that won't be confusing, that you could, you know, you put on a spoon, feed your little children with it. Oh, you know, nourish them with that intellectual juice, that intellectual baby food. So, based on Grenz and Olsen, we can say that theology is reflecting on topics which ultimately point back to God. Mm, wasn't that easy? Wasn't that a concise definition based on Grenz and Olsen? That answers the question, what is theology? However, I left someone out. Kelly M. Capic. Oh, I'll take it from here, nurse. No, 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 no. What he adds to the conversation is why you should care. Oh, the hypocrisy, reflecting on topics that ultimately point back to God. Why should I care? Capic tells you why you should care. What practicing theology does for you is it provides you with a relevant and coherent framework for you to have correct knowledge of God. Isn't that so nice? Isn't that the loveliest thing you can have? Did you catch that? Did, did, did you get that? Well done! Yes, well done! This is the standard definition of theology that we are going to use in this video. One, two, three.